Look who it is. It's okay. Peter. And Fraser. Where are you from? Oh, from Ashburn. Where are you from? I'm from the Rosalie store, believe it or not. Right. Today, look at us. We're doing a little cooking demonstration for you. Curtis Stone, look here. Yeah, I know. Oh, you got a head like one, mate. Um, so, we are cooking up some of Billy's beautiful stroganoff today. Stroganoff. Winter warmers. The inconvenience is what we're looking for at the so moment. So, this one, we kind of picked this one today because it's just reappeared with the cooler weather. We don't do this. It's a seasonal all the thing. Time. Yeah. It's a seasonal thing. Yeah. And we've taken the liberty of adding some beautiful passata to it, to the mix, okay? So, you don't have to do that. Uh, some chopped uh, onions and some chopped mushrooms. Field mushrooms. Field mushrooms, yes. not the button. No, exactly. You can use any mushrooms, except not shiitake. Yeah. Uh, so any mushrooms, so we've got the mix ready. Let's let's do it. Yeah, all right, yeah. perfect. Yeah, Here's yeah, oil. How do, we, how, do we, um, how do we prepare it? Someone comes in to meet a Belize. Well, yeah, come in and you get it in a nice container like this. 800 grams. Yeah, about yep. 800, 800 grams to kilo. Like if you've got a family of four, um, I suggest uh, about a kilo. Mm -hmm. Um, so about 250 grams per, per adult serving. Alright, so what are you doing there Fraser? Bit of oil in the pan. Yep. Uh, get it nice and warm, medium to high heat. Don't go crazy, don't go too low. You don't want to take it forever. This is about speed. So we've got it, uh, yeah, what, on the electric pan, because we're all class. Uh, <laughs> we're on between six and seven, alright? Right, so that's going to be, yeah, so that's going to be perfect for you. We'll just let it heat up a little yeah. bit. So there's plenty of different ways that we can serve this. The traditional ways are like spaghetti, mashed potato, mm. um, egg noodles. Yeah, whatever you feel like. But we like to do something different now and again, so we've decided that today yeah. we're gonna do it with some knock. Beautiful, look at Lovely. it, look at it. Delicious. Which you, you can actually also get at Meat at Billy's. You can indeed. Okay, so it's a, almost a one stop shop. Exactly, so yeah. we've got some water on the boil now, it's just getting yeah. right up to temp. We'll, um, which one's the salt? There we go. We'll season yes. that up just a little bit because you know, that's what the pros do. Yeah. Um, once that's ready, we'll let this, the thing with the gnocchi is we like to um, get it like boiled and then we put it in with the strog and let it cook a little bit further in there and it, like, get so that flavor the in there. Exactly. So Pete, in with the strog, mate. It was yeah. pretty much at temp. I start off of that. Just, mm. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Isn't he delicate? Yeah. Beautiful. I'm taking that down to yeah, the way out. Down a bit. <laughs> Get all those juices out. Beautiful. All right. And the good thing about this is Stir it, it keeps up. you active. You want to keep it moving, right? It's delicious. Takes a while. Well, not too long. You want me to do that while you get the sour cream? Let's talk about that. Yeah, perfect. So, at the end, when we've got this really nice coloured, uh, reduced down a little bit, we're going to add our sour cream to it. Um, so that is going to make it saucy, it's going to take it further, um, and yeah, really, really creamy. Cream or sour cream? Sour cream. Definitely sour cream. Definitely yeah. sour Doesn't really matter, cream. you could use like creme fraiche or yeah, yeah. Um, something like that as well, but mate, sour cream, nice what and easy. What do you reckon coconut cream would be like if people are dairy intolerant? Well, look, you, you could use coconut cream. Maybe we should just try it and see. Yeah, we'll try and see, but, um, yeah. but definitely you need a cream because you know, like Manu says, where is the sauce? That's right. You've got to have sauce. That's right. When you do your starch, whether it be uh, your gnocchi or your pasta, mm -hmm. you definitely have to have some sauce to, to drain through. That's right. Now, it's key to burn yourself. You should <laughs> burn yourself when you do this. If you're Otherwise not, you're not doing it properly. That's right. See my arm? <laughs> Fantastic. All right. So, okay. going. And just so how, how long do you reckon this is going to take before you need to add the cream? Look, you get, there's two different types of stroganoff. You've got your, your chunky stuff, chunky uh, cut meat, which we use chuck um, or gravy beef. Um, that will take a long time, um, but we've used, taken the liberty of, of shortening this time to accommodate a busy week. So we've used our beautiful rump stir fry strips that you can buy at plain at both shops. Um, and we also incorporate that if you've had our stir fries, our nutty beef stir fries, or our um, sticky Which you beef. Can add coconut cream. Yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. Yeah. So, so it's exactly the same same cut of meat. So you know how tender that is. So, so like we make it easy for you by having yeah. all this, but you can add so much extra stuff to all of these things, the stir fries like this. But like, Pete, what do you reckon that you add? You put some um, oh, some, some extra beef, tomato yeah, paste. Yeah. If you want to plant it up. You can use um, a little bit of tomato paste, um, some Dijon mustard is what I recommend. 
Um, and of course, we today we're going to add a bit of greenery. Yeah, yeah, a bit of spinach. Yeah. Uh, you were saying before you were being all fancy that you were going to uh, you've added beef stock at home to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, beef it a stock bit or uh, definitely beef stock or broth. Uh, yeah. You've got some broth um, already made up. You can use probably just a cup. That'll give you more sauce because that's what we're sort give of really after. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. while you do that, yeah. I'll get this sour cream. Time for the sour cream. Oh yeah. And look, sour cream, it, it'll look like it's split, but don't worry, it's sort of like cheesing away. It, it will it will look like it's split, but it's like cheesing away, it'll sort of melt into the sauce. It'll come into itself. Yeah. yeah. As every uh, young dog. Oh. i tell you what, if you, <laughs> if, you could, if you could smell into the camera. Yeah, it's oh. beautiful. It's delicious. We, we need it, smell care. What are you smelling right now? Oh, it's just a homey, like a winter, like Sitting it's raining in the fireplace, oh. smoking a big cigar, <laughs> drinking <laughs> a scotch. Up, up, up at your mountain <laughs> With retreat. A velvet robe on. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Mate, strog a knot. So you don't. You turn that up a bit. You're just, turning it up. Yeah, just it a down. little bit. Okay. You just regulate it. Cause you, regulate it. Yeah, because yeah, you, you want. On. Yeah, beautiful. Right, our knocky's getting pretty there. close now. So I'm going to. Uh, Probably chuck that in the strainer in a minute. Yeah, and see, this, this isn't far off moving. finishing. Um, it's, oh, I don't know about you, but I like a thicker sauce. So if you're not happy, or you think it's still runny, and you think, look, this is finished, but it's still runny, get a cup of cold water, half a cup, and a teaspoon of corn flour. Mix it all in before you put it in, and then throw it in, and that will thicken your sauce. It's nothing like runny sauce it just goes right sinks right down to the bottom oh, so you want a little bit of sauce a little bit thicker sauce that will um, wrap itself around your gnocchi or your pasta or your egg noodles and it's I coming along really razor. nicely yeah i'm good, good. good. So i'm just put a little uh, straining the gnocchi put a little bit of cold water on it to stop it from cooking and it sort of washes off a little bit of that extra starch in the water so that's pretty good now and there is an alternative too, like you like gnocchi, um, I like egg noodles to go with it. Yeah. But um, I'm not pumping Aldi, but um, I get this brown rice in, in quinoa from um, Aldi. And like you take, you zip the top off, um, 90 seconds in the microwave, put it on your plate and you're ready to go. That's right. See, it's all about speed. Yeah, that's just a really good fast option, yeah. isn't it? And, and really healthy. All this is really healthy. Delicious. I even got the, taking liberty of the, the light sour cream. Oh, did you? So, okay, yeah. see, I, I don't, so, I don't agree. No, me neither. No. That's right. why it's a little Never bit running up. He didn't yeah. run this past me. Get full fat. Oh, sorry, full fat. Yeah, exactly. Or right. go full fat on the weekend at your mountain retreat in oh. front of your fireplace no, no. with your cigar. Spinach or gnocchi in. It needs. I think it needs to come down a little bit more. Come yeah, down a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. You got to remember too. If you put gnocchi, yeah. okay, the gnocchi will soak up a lot of the juices. It will indeed. Beautiful. It's another tip I use with. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Here we All go. Right. Whack All it in right. there. Get her in. Get her in. Yeah. That's <laughs> in. Oh, look at that. Perfect. I do like um. I'm stack of cracked pepper on top as well. Usually. Oh yeah. It was cracked pepper. Okay. So over there, I'll get it. Yeah. I'll get it. Spinach and just Stir it before right you in. serve it. Boom. All right, where's the plates? The singular plate. All right, Peter. I'm just going to make the spinach wilt a little bit. Yeah. Like, you, you can have, you can have, you don't have to have spinach. You can have some nice uh, green beans or snow peas you yeah, can have. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, you can do them in the microwave, uh, the plastic over in a, in a microwavable bowl for about um, 90 seconds. Oh, you could just throw it in yeah. for the Or you can throw it, yes, <laughs> yes you can. Like, exactly like we're doing now. Yeah. Less things to wash yeah. up. Yeah, and I reckon we are pretty much we're good. done. Close enough. Beautiful. Okay. You reckon. Get it off. Get that off. I love Get that off. green in there. Yeah. Bit of colour. Alright. So, I mean, look at that. The kids have gone, they haven't even had a shower yet, and you've finished dinner. Get that pepper, Pete. Yep. That pepper? Voila. I can't One see, more. is that pepper? Yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I haven't got my goggles on. Yeah, that's pea, yeah. mate. Pea for pepper. Need that. Jeez, oh, this needs a bit of oil. Yeah. Serve yeah. it next to a bit of crusty bread. Yeah, and you know what? Happy says butter, spill it on your pants. Be nice and rustic, okay? None of this fancy stuff. 
Oh, I get up there. Curly parsley too. Yeah, oh, curly. Oh, I prefer like continental. I'll be Those honest with you. The girl. Continental. Not that you know. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, Fantastic. Who's going to try it? Who's going to try it? Oh, me. We'll go try it. We'll try it. All right. Lucky me, eh? Good lunchtime. Mmm. Shoot that pot. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Yum! Mm. Right, perfect. Stay away. Do Emma. I do it as good as Melissa Leon? Like the way I eat? As, as elegant? Yeah, no, mate. Something like that. Is that better? See, I grab mm. some of that bread, big slab of that oh. butter, dip it in the sauce. We'll do it then. This is the pepper saya butter. <laughs> I'm busy. Yeah. And I'll have to let you know that this um, guy up here, it's modelled on one of our staff members, mm. Trevor. Trevor. Because mm -hmm. if you ever see Trev, okay, <laughs> you'll understand. Trevor Sayer. Yeah. Trevor Sayer, I like it. There you go. But this is extremely nice butter. Is he related to Leo? Oh, could be. Oh, very good one. Very good. And I'll have to say, we know this butter is good because I went one of my jaunts to Noosa. Uh, I'm sure you all know the restaurant sales. Very good. They actually sell that or have the Pepe Sayer butter in the small dials on their ta every table. So we know it's good. There we go. He's got something to say about everything, doesn't there you he? Go, mate. Oh, fantastic! One more, mate. One more. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, me see, I want to see you dip it in that sauce. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, going right. to. Don't you worry Take about that. Take the lid off. Go in. Oh, oh, oh. This is my favourite thing. Doesn't it's look amazing, but and it you can, will you can be. see, you can see how it's cooled down. Yeah, it's just thickening up. It's nicely. thickening up. Has it split? It's all come together nicely. Look at that. It? Oh, Noki Strog sandwich. Stop it. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. All right. Mm. Thanks for joining us on our first episode of Muppets Cooking. Yeah. Um, we'll get better though. Yeah, we will. We'll try. These, but we um, want, but all we jokes aside, adjectives. All jokes aside, yeah. you got. If we can do it, you guys at um, at home can do this. Just mm. a quick recap as well. Yeah. Uh, the stroganoff you can get it from Ashgo and Rosalie, and also online now for home delivery. So That's exactly right. It's yeah. that easy. Yeah, get yes. it done. And and look, if you don't see it, if you don't see it, come in and one of our butchers will whip it up. You for may you. have sold out, so always yeah. ask. Yeah, Pro probably always will ask. have sold out now, right? Pardon? Probably will have sold oh, out now. As we speak. Oh, I think so. They're yeah. rushing to the stores. Exactly. They gotta be. Anyway, thanks guys. Bye for now. Get out of it. Bon appetit. See you later. Love ya.